is our knowledge to wisdom is a very important transformation we see transformation everywhere just like milk milk is like information and milk when you add a culture of yogurt to it by uh, heating properly and other things or when um, i'm in a day's time or eight hours time it transforms into curd curd has its own application and its life span and also you can generate cream by heating just by separating the fat content from the cream so the higher stages of transformation like butter and ghee are more and more you extract the essence from the milk right the ghee is the final clarified butter which is the final transformation which has a long shelf life compared to the earlier transformation so that can be compared to wisdom whereas milk is information so friends what i'm trying to say here is that in schools for our kids we have to teach the internal mental processes of transforming information to wisdom otherwise the information is just collected stored in the brain and then given out in the examination without transforming to wisdom so and also this transformation process of knowledge to wisdom is a very joyful process of acquiring knowledge one becomes a gyani so one has to equip children with these powerful internal mental techniques of transformation to wisdom so that is the objective so learn from the milk transformation apply it to your own self internally are you transforming any new information you are getting into wisdom and that happens through various um, mental or thinking techniques right analytical thinking critical thinking logical thinking contemplation these are the various men internal mental process compare and contrast cause effect relationship among the information you know the chemistry of the information how the information bits interact with each other to f- provide the final effect utility thinking and how the various factors are playing out to give the utility lateral thinking you know there are so many kinds of thinking processes to transform into wisdom in sanskrit primarily it is called mananam or smaranam when it is done and one important point to understand in the human anatomy is when the eye is collecting information or suppose when you are in front of a book your thinking process is not very the deep thinking process is not active so that is a mistake uh, people make the students make that it's not that only when they are front of the book it is studying it is collecting information the real transformation happens when they are closing the book and thinking about what they have read when they're taking for a walk and they get new ideas when they are doing like that you know the brain is utilized the problem is people when they close the book and stop thinking about it and that will not help to transform to wisdom it is so the study time should be you know in front of the book x percent and not in front of the book that is called the thinking time so every person has to do studying and thinking and have a certain dedicated time towards the thinking so this is very important that the information collection is stopped for them so guys uh, please explore this more and more and let's teach our younger generation the thinking tools to become wise individuals and also prevent school dropouts because of enjoying the process of knowledge thank you very much hari krishna